Hi, I'm back. I wanted to kind of follow up to yesterday's video with the sunflower seed milk. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that most people making sunflower seed milk or watching that video are probably going to be newer to this and they're not going to have the Blintex or the Vitamixes and they're going to need to strain it. So I figured I'd come back and kind of kill two birds with one stone and do an almond milk and show you how to strain it. So short of my battery dying on me because I'm pretty sure I can see the red light back there flashing. Let's get to it. Um, okay, almonds you're going to want to soak overnight. They have enzyme inhibitors and in order to release those you're going to want to soak them for about eight hours and it also soften up the uh, nut. Rinse it and make sure it's all purified water. You don't want to like take a batch of raw organic almonds and soak it in your tap water. Um, that would defeat everything. So half cup of soaked almonds. I'm only doing half a cup because I have all of that raw sunflower seed milk. And old girl can only drink so much milk in one week. This will last about three to four days, by the way. Uh, two cups of water. Again, I can't read my numbers. I don't know. It looks like two cups. I'm going to do a little bit of cinnamon. If you watch my other video, you'll know that I love it. Uh, two pinches of salt, and again, this is just a red lava salt. You can use a pink Himalayan. Um, gosh, there's so many types of great salt. Just don't use table salt. And stevia. stevia. So that's all that goes into it. Two cups of water, half cup almonds, and... We're going to blend it. Okay, so I've blended this for about a minute to two minutes. The less powerful of a blender that you have, the longer you want to blend it. This is obviously extremely powerful, so minute, two minutes. So you might want to do like two minutes. Just keep an eye on it. Okay. So this is kind of the messy part. Normally I use um, a large jar, but because... I lose everything and or misplace. I don't know where it is. Story of my life. Okay. So, oh, oh yeah. The best part, these strainers, they sell them on Amazon as nut milk bags for I think $11. But if you go to the paint store like Sherwin-Williams, Home Depot, you can get like a two pack for $2.00. And they're awesome. They have the elastic and they do the exact same thing that nut milks do. And even better is that when you ferment or, um, yeah, I guess the fermenting the cheese, you don't have to ferment it, but you can strain it so it's thicker with nut cheeses, if you know what I'm talking about. You can use these too instead of cheesecloth. So much easier than cheesecloth. Uh, cheesecloth drives me insane sometimes because it'll like tear and stuff comes through. Anywho, paint strainer bags. $2 for like a two-pack hardware store. So just pour your mouth in here. And I just missed the pack. Um, anywho, before I did this, while I had stopped the video, I washed my hands. Make sure you keep your hands really clean because you have to get your hands a little dirty. Okay, so you just squeeze, and it kind of takes a little bit. It's like you're milking a cow. It's not that I've ever milked a cow, but I have an imagination. Okay. So we'll just kind of stop there. You can keep going for a little while. If you have a dehydrator or you even do like a lot of baked goods, keep the pulp in your freezer and use it for, um, replace your flour with it. It's awesome. Don't ever, ever, ever throw out your nut milk pulp. It's kind of a waste of an ingredient. So then this is your milk and I'm using another bottle. This bottle is from the grocery store, Local Brew, brews their kombucha and these bottles and you buy it and then you're supposed to return it for like a $3 deposit, but I just keep the bottles. So hopefully they aren't watching this because I've snatched up a lot of their bottles. And then again, just pour it. And this is the container that I always overfill in because it's dark. So we're just 
to the store-bought kind, you'll be like, what the f is this? Because the store-bought kind, it's great for in a pinch, and it can, it can, mm, well, I don't even know if I should say that. I guess it can taste good. It depends on what you've had. I mean, I make my own, so I love, love, love my own. But I think you'll like it a lot more than the store-bought kind. So let me pour a glass and show you. Just like milk. This is probably my most favorite nut milk, but Brazil nut milk's really good, too, and it has the selenium. And again, just like the sunflower seed milk, all white and lovely. So now you know how to make milk, and you can use that straining technique for just about any nut, whether it be Brazil, hazel, almond. I guess you can make cashew milk. That'd be awesome. And um, sunflower seeds or whatever seed you want to do. So that's it. Enjoy.